it's my great pleasure to uh, introduce my colleague, Stefan Jansen. Stefan is from our AWS Training and Certification Organization, and he has um, a short but, but insightful presentation along with, uh, along with uh, another colleague. So I'll hand over to Stefan. All yours. Thank Thanks. You. Thanks, Will. Good morning, all. I'm kind of trying to get used to trying to speak to everybody in the audience here, but I'll try to concentrate my eyesight at least to you. Really welcome for, for joining us here this morning. Um, as Will just said, this is a kind of a short session where we want to give you um, some insights on what it means to work with AWS Training and Certification Organization when it comes to your personal development, if you're interested, or if you represent your organization when it comes to more organizational investments in training and certification. Um, I will also be bringing Jason on stage in a few minutes, uh, representing Australia Post, fantastic customer and story that he can share, uh, also personal in, in, in terms of his learning. And we also have our colleagues around here um, from AWS Training and Cert. We have a booth over there and also our partner from Bespoke, who is one of our key training partners here in Australia who are here today. So any questions after this session, uh, obviously we're around here for you. Um, I hope you would agree with me that we're living in a kind of a world at the moment where innovation and new technologies are being released at such a fast pace that even I in my years in IT, having gone through the waves of new versions of Windows, client server, et cetera, um, it's, going to be, it's going faster than ever. And if you just look at the AWS pace of innovation, just only last year, we launched 1,430 new services or significant features. And if you think about that pace of innovation, it's only accelerating. It's not slowing down. Because of the technology advancements, because the way we can now innovate very rapidly for our customers and our partners, what you see that innovation is going up. If you just think about it, if you're a technologist and you work in the AWS world, and you would take a week leave off, imagine you have to catch up on 20 new services or more when you come back from your week leave. So training is becoming more and more important for you to continuously build your skills and drive forward. Um, and that leads to kind of a challenge, which is that we are seeing a significant and very rapidly increasing skills gap in the marketplace in Australia and in New Zealand for that matter as well, and in fact probably around the world. So one end we're seeing that the innovation and technology pace is increasing, on the other hand, what we're starting to see is that customers are now really becoming serious about adopting to the cloud. And we have been already for many years. In Australia, in fact, we now enjoy tens of thousands of customers who deploy their applications and infrastructure on the AWS cloud. And that is only going to increase even faster. So what you see is a significant skills gap. Now, the result of that is, if you are here representing an organization, it creates competition. If you're here as an individual, it's kind of, kind of good because all the surveys show that if you are an AWS certified IT professional, your chances of getting a job A is very, very high uh, because many are out there competing for your, uh, for your skills. Secondly, you might even earn more because we, what we hear is that salaries go up with that. But ultimately, it's not, it's not something we support. We want to really address that as an organization. So as AWS, we see that as a challenge because our customers and our partners in the industry continue to give us that feedback. The AWS help us getting our people trained. And I'll talk about it. One of the major surveys that's been run globally, if you're familiar with it, is the Global Knowledge IT Skills and Salary Report. There's some interesting data points to share with you to, to set the scene here. Um, in the latest survey, or in fact, it's the 2016 time flies, respondents in IT pros who respond saying, I need to learn to build new skills to, to be able to keep up. And at the same time, many organizations saying, oh, one of the reasons we're not investing is because of lack of budget. Now, in fact, if I add to that anecdotally, if I talk to customers here in Australia as well, is that uh, we see um, a lot of other reasons why we may not go at the pace of training and education in our organizations. Many times to do because of logistical challenges, identifying the skills we need, how, who do we engage, how do we set up a, a road plan. 
rather than going to an online provider and find some training. So we see these kind of challenges in the, in the workforce now that we need to solve for. If you are an organization as well, and I know and I've had some saying, oh, but if I invest in training for my staff, well, who knows, they might get a better job tomorrow elsewhere. Well, the opposite is kind of true based on the survey results, which says that nearly 80% of those who receive the employee investing in training are high, have a higher likelihood to stay because they value that their company is investing in training for them. So it's an interesting one, is it? And more importantly, job effectiveness will increase. If you can apply what you learn, it will have a, a direct impact. And I know I see a lot of you nodding, and I know it's probably saying the obvious, but why are we not really getting our head around in this market? For us, it's important. We're a data-driven company at AWS, and we um, engaged IDC last year to commission a broad-based study to really find out what it means to those organizations who invest in what we call comprehensive training. To give you an idea about a comprehensive training as an organization, this is about defining by critical role across your organization what the learning path should look like. It's not about a one-off, it's a real journey about learning, whether it's about introduction type of courses all the way down to deep level specialized training. And if you do that in a continuous way, that's what we call comprehensive training. And there's some very interesting data points that came out of that from around the world, that those organizations who implement comprehensive training plans will go to the cloud and adopt the cloud 80% faster. So if you represent an organization here, whether it's a government organization or a public, any public domain or commercial organization, and you make a decision as an organization, we want to take the benefits from the cloud. We want to become more agile. We want to become more fast and more competitive. Then this will help you. And there's some very other stats. To make it even more complex for you, um, IDC has also defined these so-called seven stages of cloud adoption. And interesting is, we do still see a lot of organizations are kind of in the evaluation stage. What does it mean to us? How do we set up our footprint for cloud consumption? But if you invest in training, you will six times more likely move from evaluation to true moving critical workloads or applications to the cloud. So six times more likely. And that is just another data point to say, suggest that there's a direct correlation between investing in training and the actual consumption of cloud and taking the benefits for your business. So, um, at AWS, since the launch of the Sydney region over six years ago, we have been in a market and offering training. I'm not sure if anyone has ever sat through one of our classes. Anyone? No one? Here you go. You're a really good audience then because we have, we have something for you. Um, we have a team of very, very highly skilled trainers in our organization who have been delivering training across Australia and New Zealand. Um, we work with partners like Bespoke. And so we've been doing that but there's more to come. Um, when it comes to custom adoption, as I just mentioned, this is just a, an example um, from one of our major customers who had been kind of dabbling around with the cloud. And the moment they started seriously investing in scaling up their staff, what we saw, their, their consumption and their migration to the cloud of, of workloads and applications really accelerated, okay? now. Um, I will bring on stage um, um, uh, Jason in a second from Australia Post. But one, one to share with you, a very similar curve we're seeing now, is if, if any of you have uh, read it in the press a few months ago about the NAB, the National Australian Bank, they launched the so-called NAB Guild. And they came to us with a challenge. We need to change as an organization. We need to take control over how we set our destiny around our digital transformation. We want to own that. And we have thousands of staff that do not have the skills to be able to deploy. We worked with the National Australian Bank, and literally in the last nine months, we've trained up over 2,000 people already. And so you're talking about a large financial service institution been around for many, many years, making that cultural and skills transformation with that. So I thought I said that because it would be interesting to hear more from Jason, if you wouldn't mind coming on stage and uh, share with us a little bit about the Australia Post story. Yeah, Welcome. Jeff. And thanks for making it to camera as well yeah. for this audience. Yeah, thanks, Stefan. Uh, thanks um, for having us. If I maybe can start asking, um, you have an interesting personal journey. Maybe to start with that, and then we'll talk yeah. about Australia Post. Cool. I've been at Australia Post for nearly 30 years. My first job at Australia Post was selling stamps when I was 16. 
for the Christmas rush. But after a few years um, going back to school and whatnot, I was a postie and I was a postie for 15 years. So uh, after a while, I thought, oh, I've got to try something different, get off the bike and stop getting hit by cars and whatnot. So we um, decided to try a different career path. And Australia Post were really supportive in that and gave me the opportunity to move into IT. And from there, you know, server support, uh, uh, service management, yeah. and then into the cloud, cloud management uh, area and haven't looked back since. So been in, been in IT for 10 years now and... Yeah, as you know, Australia Post has given me that opportunity to to actually develop and grow and have a career rather than just be a postie. Well, that's that's obviously fantastic. And yeah. for those of you who've been following the the changes that Australian Post is is going through, obviously significant change. And even recently, I read an article of your new CEO yeah. about what it means, even the impact to the organisation from from traditional post delivery all the way yeah. to now being becoming a real digital organisation. So. If you, if, you, if you consider your own journey and, 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 and reflect it on your time at Australian Post, what, what is the, the cloud journey so far been for Australia Post? So about uh, 2012, I think we just, you know, started to adopt the cloud and we worked with partners with Australia, uh, AWS to start to migrate some of our workloads in the cloud. Um, in that time, since 2012, we've moved four data centers, um, migrated a whole heap of other applications in there, um, looked at uh, what AWS had to offer to, you know, for cost saving and for um, reliability and scalability. So we just thought they were a great product and, and we've been working with them a lot ever yeah. since, progressively more every year. And that's great. And so you talk about the, the technology shift, of course. Yeah. So what has been the journey when it comes to the, the culture and the culture change you have to go through to becoming kind of a more agile type environments. Can you can yeah. you share a little bit of that insight? So when we started the when we started the journey, we started a digital delivery team mm. and they they were really good quick adopters of AWS, but they sort of left the rest of IT behind a bit. So um, what we're trying to do now is change that culture and merge the, the benefits that we get from digital delivery with IT uh, so that they work together and you know we have structure and we have all that greatness from the IT, traditional IT, but we also have the agility and uh, you know, development opportunities that come with digital delivery teams. So driving that broader adoption of skills and also that culture change, yeah. what has been then the, the role that AWS uh, training and certification has been? And can you give an insight yeah. on how many people have been trained and so, how you've taken um, that approach? Yeah, so not including the Tech Essentials course, which is the basic one-day course that um, we pretty much put most people, you know, my first day in cloud services, that was the first thing I did, to yeah. go and do the Tech Essentials course. Um, but the, as far as like the three-day three more, uh, intro, you know, sort of detailed courses, yeah. we've put about 80 people through that in the last few months, um, just trying to uplift the skills Keep you know keep everything current. Things move so quickly that it's really important we we sort of move with those times. So that's yeah. great. Now in your role, you're kind of orchestrating a lot of that. Yeah. Um, any insight on how you actually work through and identify the right skills that also allows them to put in practice what they learn? Yeah. So actually working with Eves up the back there. So hi Eves. Um, we're we're coming up with a, a training plan. Okay. So last year was a bit we smash, let's get everyone in yeah. before financial year because we had budgets that we had to meet and all that sort of stuff. So this year we want to actually have a proper plan in place and it won't just include you know, training you know, the courses that AWS offers. It's other things that we do as well like immersion days, um, game days, all those sorts of things that we can work yeah. with, with our um, you know, account team yeah. to, to help us get broader skills. Fantastic. Um, Career-wise, if you look around your colleagues who have gone yeah. through training, do you see a change in their career opportunities as well in yeah. Australia Post, hopefully within the organisation? Yeah, so uh, career-wise, it just opens up so many doors. So yeah. like my team is a traditional IT team, so we don't do a lot of the coding and the, the, yeah. serv uh, the serverless stuff. So yeah. I'm trying to push them to offer um, the business different solutions yeah. and actually develop their skills in that as well. So um, having AWS there to help us learn yeah. that is really important. Good. Now, uh, I mentioned the uh, National Australia Bank is one of those public uh, examples at yeah. scale, obviously. A lot of uh, people, they, they launch a so-called NAB Guild and they put a lot of kind of identity around what it yeah. means to transform. 
How, is there any, any correlation in terms of what Australian Post is doing? Yeah, well, that's, we, we're looking at what NAB's doing and um, they're setting the benchmark, I guess, mm. as far as that goes. We want to be a destination company and people in this yeah. industry are so hard to find these days. Yeah. It's not like there's thousands and thousands of people out there wanting yeah. to get a job and, you know, we've got the we got the clout sort of thing. It's, it's hard yeah. to employ good yeah. people into, yeah. into the dev DevOps sort of area. So um, by investing in training and by investing in the people, they're more likely to come and stay. Okay, so you're going to do more about that branding side of that yeah. as well. Yeah. Fantastic. I have one final question. Sure. Yeah. Uh, that's one for Eve to note as well. Um, did you have your certification? I haven't done it yet, no. <laughs> Customer I'll, I'll do it, I promise you. <laughs> um, thank you for sharing the story about uh, Australia Post. Obviously, Jason will be around here for the rest of the day. Really ask because he's, he's probably um, quite humble and sharing. There's a lot of heavy lifting that he has gone through and building that end-to-end -end strategy and plan and get the organization aligned. So thank you so much for Thanks, joining mate. in, mate. Thank you. Really appreciate it. Um, so one thing, I mean, there's many things to learn from organizations like Australian Post and there are many others that we work with as well. But one thing that I, I kind of, um, if, I, if I connect back to my earlier points about the enormous skill shortage in markets, leveraging our internal organization, working with the staff and put confidence in your own organization's people about working through a learning, a learning strategy, I think is a, is a really, really point that I take away from even Jason's personal story, how fantastic is it to, to, to develop your career. Um, another couple of things to share with you. Again, um, whether it's for yourself uh, or whether you represent one of, uh, one of the, the agencies here, um, the things that we see really working well is that when you build your training, it starts with identifying a leader in the business. The NAB is driving its CEO top down. Australian Post is doing that as well. So identify someone who can really stand up and say, we need to, as part of our transformation, we need to drive this end to end through the organization. And what we tend to work with closely with is with, of course, the business, is with the IT department, is with the HR learning and development team, and we work together, but it's very important to that. The second one is create a level of excitement because change is not always easy. If you've been very comfortable working in a particular technology domain for many, many years, it is not easy, it's hard to change. We all know that, we have to put effort in it, we need to learn. So creating the excitement and celebrate those in your organization who have achieved a certain learning path or an outcome that then drives the, uh, the business results, it's, I think it's really important. Decide which roles you want to go after and who you need to train. Jason mentioned that a lot of the people in Australian Post have gone through an introduction course one day tech essentials, we even have business essentials. That creates that momentum in the organization. And we do that with a lot of organizations where we start at a foundational level and then we go deep in a very specialized manner. And we can help you building those plans. You may not know it, but we launched a digital platform not long ago, half a year, nine months ago. There's now over 125 courses online, AWS.training, check it out, five minutes, 10 minute courses all the way up to seven, eight hour courses. Really allows you that entry level, foundational level of training as you then progress and decide if you want to go into classroom training. So really highly recommend that. And work with us. We have people like Eve here who can help you building customized training plans. Okay, we've now applied the learnings over the last five, six years here in Australia and New Zealand only in helping customers through that journey. My final slides and any further details, obviously we can happily share and also the, the guys that bespoke. Kind of think about three, three pillars in terms of what we offer from a formal technical classroom training, uh, training in general and digital training as I just mentioned. Um, a very rich environment now for learning. Classroom training, I would consider this the premium experience and that has to be. The trainers we, um, we have in our organization are deeply, deeply skilled, highly, deeply technical. And what they many times do is bring in other resources from the AWS team into, into training sessions where needed. We provide a lot of hands-on experiences, so it's a really, really good experience in the feedback we're getting. And ultimately, if you are an individual or even as an organization, you like to be recognized for your achievements. Certification is the way to do it. It really is. And so you can really be proud if you achieve a certification because certain levels are not easy. 
I did my cloud practitioner entry level. It should be easy for everybody. Um, but I do recommend to look at that as well. So with that, as I said, short, sharp. Thank you for your attention. Um, I do have opportunity to hand out booklets, brochures. And if we have some time left, we can also do some Q&A. So if anyone has a question here for the group, please, or for Jason. Anyway. Anyone, any questions? Maybe that's a really good question. Is this in any way linked to AWS Educate? Yeah, um, good question. Um, so um, if you think about the AWS training assert is about formalized training to get you to becoming an IT professional. Um, as, as I also mentioned in the beginning, we have a significant shortage in the market. And so what we have done as AWS, we've launched a couple of programs. And if, in fact, we're launching another program soon. Can I give a heads up? Uh, Kelvin sits there around driving women in AI, women leaders. AWS Educate is another program, as is AWS Academy. AWS Educate is very targeted at a very broad group of younger future talent. Um, either sitting still high school, university, and we offer a lot of great content online and also through signing up the universities and the schools to sign up to the program. AWS Academy takes it one level further where we offer an official curriculum in, at university to help students get their IT certification. So there's different programs, but ultimately you can um, tap into uh, all of them if you want to to the point where you feel comfortable you want to go into a formal IT professional kind of career path. Does that make sense? We can give you some more detail. There's, there's a team from the Educate team around here as well, but that's a really great program. So good, good question. Anyone else? No? Thank you for joining. Hope you enjoy your day here. Feel free to reach out to the training and team. Thanks. <laughs>